How long will you have to look at those huge, now empty, dilapidated GM lots in mid-Michigan? We all want to know the answer, and now we're finally getting some headway as to what will happen to the old properties now owned by Racer Trust. Liam Martin has more. They are the relics of a once faltering General Motors. Three former plants left vacant years ago. The automaker is now booming again, but the lots are still unfilled. Uh, this is something that we, we should have done a couple of years ago. John Dare is supervisor of Lansing Township, where two of those sites sit. The closures cost the township millions of dollars in tax revenue and left eyesores behind, ones that he says have led to people moving out of town. I'd be lying if, um, if I didn't say that I really, really miss the uh, the plants being there, but you know they had to go. Wednesday presented a glimmer of hope. This group here is saying we are going to expand our automotive footprint. The Lansing Economic Area Partnership, along with Lansing, Lansing Township, Racer Trust, and others, have formed a task force with the goal of doing something with these sites. And these three sites, um, especially the 400 or so acres that's shared by Lansing and Lansing Township represent a once in a 50 year opportunity for us. Leaps Bob Trezise acknowledges the soil at some of the sites is contaminated and recommends against using them for retail space. He and Mayor Verge Bernero instead suggest the site should remain industrial with a twist. Well, I want to see advanced manufacturing and if it's green manufacturing, that's great. The mayor says two companies have already shown interest in the sites. All of this will take years, but those in this task force are certain the partnership gets them closer. In Lansing, Leah Martin, Fox 47 News. Razor Trust already has 17 million set aside to pay for the cleanup of the rubble and any contaminants. The task force is also trying to get GM to bring more work to the greater Lansing area.